Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add light rays inside of Lightroom. I'm also going to give you some free light ray presets that you can download and use yourself and save a little bit of time, but let's dive in together and I'll show you how to do this from scratch. <laughs> All right, so adding light rays in Lightroom. Why would you want to do this? Where would this be helpful? Well, sometimes when you're editing your photos, you're going to go ahead and apply a preset and the photo might look pretty good, but it's just lacking a little bit of, you know, that extra kind of special sauce. And adding a light flare uh, afterwards can really make that photo that much more interesting. So just let me show you what I mean with a couple of presets before I show you how to actually do this. Um, here's just an example of adding a basic sun flare, okay? So we'll, we'll do adding light rays as well, but here's just adding a sun flare so we could increase our exposure maybe a little bit, maybe back off on the color just so that it's more subtle. Something like this. Okay, so let me show you. Here's after, obviously. And then if we were to reset this, there's before. Before and after. So you can just add a little bit of extra interest in your images. And that is a really, really simple thing to do, especially with a sun flare. Let me show you exactly what's going on here. I'll just zoom out so I can access my radial filter again. You can copy these settings if you want to make your own uh, basic sun flare. All we're doing is just simulating what a sun flare does in your camera. So if the sun hits a lens while you're taking a photo, you're going to lose some contrast in the area of the image that the light is kind of affecting. So what's happening is we're just reducing our contrast. I'm adding some warmth to the actual sun flare because typically the sun is warm. And then we're going to raise up the shadows, raise up the blacks, take some clarity down, some dehaze down, a little bit of saturation that you can kind of dial that in depending on the photo. And then you can also add a little bit of extra color if you still are not getting enough warmth naturally. So you can even do different tones. You can add some purple sun, some red sun, depending on what time of day it is. Maybe it's around sunset, you're going to have a more reddish or purple sun. Whereas in the middle of the day, it's going to be more of a pure kind of a yellow or even a bright blue kind of effect. So if we did like midday sun, not really adding any color at all. You can kind of experiment like that. Now, that's how you add a sun flare. Super, super base, basic. But I don't know if you knew this. You can actually add things that are a little bit more complex, something like light rays. So I'm going to jump to a different photo because the thing is this process isn't going to work for every single photo. So for example, I do have a light rays preset made right here. And you can see that that looks like absolute garbage on this particular photo, and that's just because certain photos it's going to suit, certain it's not going to look realistic. So let me back up. We're going to find a photo that really kind of does work with this. So let's say this one. Here's our sun flare. Sun flare in the center. Just different variations of flares, and you can see I've introduced some rays into this particular image. Let's find one that's actually going to work better, though. Probably this one right here. We can go with our sun rays center. And you can see that actually looks pretty darn realistic. It works. And the reason is because the composition of the photo works. The sun is naturally, well, it's more here, so it's not entirely realistic. We could crop out that sun just to make that effect um, more believable. However, what we're doing is really just using this radial filter mask in a creative way. And let me show you exactly what's going on. If we look at this preset, we've basically made a whole ton of basic mini sun flares. And we've organized them by making these radial filters really, really long and then dragging them out and having them all kind of gather in this one point. And I've done things like change the feather. So on some of them, they're all the way feathered. Others are less feathered. So you have just different distinctions of light rays. You can see that some are more sharp than others. Some are different sizes. And so you do this to create your own um, light ray. So let me show you exactly how I do this from scratch. So we're going to reset. And I'm going to start off by making just a basic kind of sun flare. I've got it titled Flare Branch right now in my presets, but we will reset here. Do, do, do. And we're going to just add some warmth. We're going to drop the contrast, raise the shadows and the blacks. Remember, we're just getting rid of contrast and getting rid of some sharpness in our image. That's pretty much all you have to do to make a pretty believable camera flare. So we're going to do that and just drag out, see how we're looking. So you can see it's looking okay. Maybe it's a little bit, the color isn't quite what I want. I can dial that in here, add some more red maybe, or some pink. I don't want it to be too colorful because this is not really a sunset-y photo. I don't want the sun to be too colorful. I just want it to be kind of balanced, not too green. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. I will save that as a preset. 
And I should say, if you want to just go ahead and download these presets, I'm going to make those available. There's going to be a download link below in the description. You can check those out. And if this video has been helpful for you so far, do me a big favor, hit that like button and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. Leave me a comment. All those things are really, really helpful for me. So if you appreciate this content, please do me a favor and do that for me right now. Okay, so we're going to save this as just sun flare practice, okay? Save that as a preset. And now I have this and I can just make these sun flares really quickly, really easily, whenever I want. Now there's a couple of ways to actually go about making these flares. You can go ahead, and what I did is I based mine off of real images. So I went onto Google, and you just Google sun flare or light ray. You save or screenshot a couple examples, and then you just bring them into, imp into a Lightroom. You import those photos, and you literally make the sun rays by just copying the actual natural ones. And that's going to be the most realistic way to do it takes probably 30, 40 minutes per sun ray. So that can be a little bit time prohibitive and take too long sometimes. But, And what I'm doing here is as I'm going through, it's a process. So it's not going to look perfect right away. We're going to have to just mess with it and tweak things until we get it the way we like it. I'm going to go ahead, just make a whole bunch of little sun flares, all kind of coalescing wherever I want that sun to be. And actually, rather than recreate the one in the center, why don't we make it more photorealistic? and go with where the sun actually naturally is coming from, which is the center, the center, the corner of this image, somewhere around there. That's going to be more realistic in the long run. So we will just aim everything towards the corner of this image. Now, somewhere probably here is where the sun's going to be, so that's where I'm actually going to aim all of these. And I find that if you lengthen these out, lengthen the radio filter really, really far, it's going to be more realistic because you can see that as we are on this side of the radio filter, it's getting bigger, 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 so kind of like sun flares uh, and light rays naturally are going to disperse as they get further away from the sun. So make sure you spread it nice and far out. Now, the one thing that I'm noticing, obviously, as we're going is that this is a very colored, um, colored light rays I'm introducing here, and that might be a little bit too much. We could try and back things off. And it's also going to look more realistic if we actually go ahead and blend these so that they're not all exactly the same color. Because in life, you never have, um, in nature, things are not perfect. They're not symmetrical and identical. Things are, uh, there's subtle variation between everything. And so if we can emulate that, it's going to be more believable. So we're just going to go ahead. I'm taking the saturation down in that color filter and just dial it back. You can always add later. We're just trying to start off with kind of a, a basic subtle template. You might be looking at this like, this isn't subtle at all, but we'll get there. Just have to take your time. And this isn't something that necessarily is going to be uh, super worthwhile for you. Maybe if you have Photoshop and you've got an overlay, you can just add a light uh, sun flare or some light rays a lot easier just by grabbing a PNG overlay and doing that inside of Photoshop. But sometimes it's just kind of fun, something creative, or maybe you don't have Photoshop, you just want to do this on your own. This is how you do it. So I'm going to drag this one right down here, and then you can see how the sun flare becomes more believable as I do that, because when it was in the center here, you've got this kind of weird tapering off from the other end of the radial filter. We want to hide that. So we're going to go like this, and of course our sun is somewhere around here, so we want to have that intersect properly. Change the angle a little bit. Same with this one. The angle is not quite right. Good. Something like that. Then we just want to add a couple more layers on top of this. So we're going to add some maybe smaller ones. Oops. Undo that. Add some smaller layers, as in skinnier, and maybe taper it, take the feather down. And we're going to make these really, really subtle. We don't want them to stand out much at all. Okay, so you can see how much that's standing out. I'm going to need to adjust that. Take away this coloring. Try that. Good, that's not bad. Something like that. And with these ones, obviously, it's going to be very important that we're lining things up properly. Otherwise, it's not going to be believable. So remembering our sun is somewhere around this corner. You can see it's not lining up with the other lines, so I'm going to have to keep playing with it until I kind of get it looking okay. Good. Might copy this one, do a couple more like that. Uh, 
All right, I'll spread this one a little further. Maybe take the feather up slightly. Angle's not right. Okay. So you can see where I'm going with this. We've gone from a pretty bland image to adding a really interesting feature. And you can obviously dial this back as you like. Now, once you've got this actually created the first time, the beauty is if you have photos like this all the time, particularly landscape, you're going to get more kind of bang for buck out of doing this. You can go up to your presets. We're going to create a preset, and we will call it Light Rays top left. And we just want to check radial filters and nothing else. And what that's going to do is it's going to save these radial filters and nothing else about this preset, nothing else about this photo settings. So then we can just dial things in and apply it to whatever photo we like. So I could grab this photo. Here's another example of using uh, those light rays. So I've just got one that I've created for the center. And then I'm going to dial in the exposure. And you can really add some interest to an image quite quickly, right? We've got before and after. Just a different look, something you can do very quickly. We can go and find our user preset, the light rays top left. Perfect. Add some extra exposure to this image, maybe apply a quick preset. Right, we've done something really interesting and creative. Here is before our light rays, and here's after. Super cool, pretty cool, right? So obviously with your photos, you do need to pay attention to where the sun naturally is coming from, which in this photo is the top right, not the top left. So as cool as these light rays work, for this photo really to make sense, we do need to have the light rays come from the other side. So I've created a preset already for light rays coming from the top right. I'll just apply that, maybe adjust our exposure a little bit, and we've got something very, very realistic, and really that just adds a little bit of extra sparkle and interest to our image. Again, here is before, and here is after really makes it come alive in a kind of new and different way. So hopefully you can use this kind of technique to really spice up your photos, do something a little bit more interesting and creative. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please do me a favor, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe for more great content and resources, and leave me a comment below. Do you see this being useful or not really? Probably just stick with Photoshop. Let me know. I want to hear. And last of all, obviously, if you don't feel like going ahead and spending two hours going through and tweaking these until you get them just right and creating all these different variations, I've gone ahead and done the heavy lifting for you. I've created a preset pack that you can go ahead and purchase for a dollar. I want to make it super affordable, super cheap, or I will give you these light ray presets for free, the center the left and the right, you can go ahead and grab those in the description link below, either for free or the entire pack for a dollar and have a lot of different variations. We've got a top sun flare center, uh, some different left ones and some right ones, as well as some light leaks, which are more geared towards imitating vintage cameras. So those can be really cool on certain travel photos. And like I said, just adding some extra interest to your images. So here's an example here of where you could incorporate it. Put it on a couple different photos here. We'll reset this one. We've already got a light flare on there. So maybe a sun flare center because our sun is in the center. Darken things down. Or just a classic sun flare. And move it over to the center. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. If you want to create these for yourself, you can feel free. Now you know exactly what is inside. Or you can go ahead and grab these presets. Save yourself a little bit of time whatever works for you. But if this video was helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a comment if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Peace.